Do you have a desk job? Sitting at a desk all day can be hazardous to your health. Sitting is not natural for humans who are designed to be on the move. However, it is estimated that 86% of American workers sit all day. On top of that, most sit when they get home from work. In total, Americans sit 13 hours per day and sleep for another eight. This means that for 21 hours a day, they are sedentary. So what exactly are the dangers of sitting too long? Here are some scientifically researched concerns. One, sitting too much hurts your heart. Sitting for too long can have a negative impact on your heart. Researchers have found that people who sit most of the day compared to those that don't sit have an increased risk of developing heart disease. Two, sitting too much hurts your brain. Too much sitting can reduce cognitive performance and cause dementia. In addition, one study found that sitting for too long causes a part of the brain that is responsible for making memories to thin. Three, sitting increases the risk of diabetes. Scientists feel that sitting too long each day can change the way your body processes insulin. A study found that people who led sedentary lives were more likely to develop type 2 diabetes and metabolic syndrome than those who had more active lives. During long periods of sitting, muscles are used very little and there is far less energy burn and metabolic pathways that regulate how the body stores blood sugar are less active and far less effective. Four, sitting too long can increase your blood pressure. There is a link between sitting for long periods of time and increased blood pressure. This stems from poor ergonomics and bad posture of the neck and back. Sitting for long periods of time causes the neck to become compressed and this can lead to a rise in blood pressure. Five, Sitting too long can cause your hips and back to become tight. Excessive sitting causes your hip flexors to shorten and can cause your back to become tight and painful. Sitting can cause compression on the discs in your spine and lead to chronic pain. You may think that because you have a desk job that you are doomed to be impacted by the negative effects of sitting. However, there's actually quite a few things that you can do to offset the health implications of sitting. Here are some suggestions. Visit coworkers in person. Instead of emailing, calling, or texting, get up from your desk and go visit coworkers in person. Walk or bike to work. In addition to moving more at work, try riding your bike or walking if you can to your job. This takes time and effort, but is well worth the mental and physical benefits it brings. Take up a new hobby. Have you always wanted to ballroom dance or grow a garden? Instead of partaking in sedentary leisure activities, Try something new, something active.